Hi, welcome back. It's Rick and Tom's uh, Open View, our views on open topics. Um, you can tweet us at Rick and Tom's View uh, with a Rick, R I C K N T O M S V I E W. Uh, you can tweet us with ideas that you'd like us to go over, talk about, or go into depth about, or be funny, or if you want Rick to specifically tell you about golf, or or if you need me to tell you about my dogs, or we can both talk about stupid, stupid, we're pros on that. Um, let us know. Or you got random talk, topics, we will address anything. We don't care. Um, we have funny views, we have serious views, so just let us know. Um, the topic today was suggested by my six-year-old. Cartoons. She wanted to know what cartoons was like when we were growing up. Um, and up to the date. So I've got three children, 24, 20, and six, so there's quite a gap there, and um, so, you know, we had a drinking problem about seven years ago, right? This guy. Uh, okay, so Walt Disney, of course, started it off. That was awesome, Walt Disney, but um, there's many questions I have for Walt Disney, a couple of them being just, um, he made Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, um, Pluto. Pluto's a dog. He's still a dog. Everybody else walking and talking, but Pluto's a dog. What the hell did Pluto do? You know, everybody else got taken care of, but Pluto, Pluto. Everybody else walk and talk. Pluto, you're a dog. All right, so there's a lot of unanswered questions there on Pluto. What about Donald? You ever see Donald get out of the shower and wraps a towel around himself? But yet, he walks around with a shirt on with no pants. He's letting his duck eggs hang out all the time. I mean, they're always just jangling in the wind. They're as Tom Petty's song says, free balling. What? Oh, free balling. Oh. I thought it was free balling. It sounds like free balling to me. Can you listen to Tom Petty and not hear free balling? I can't get over it. Free balling. Anyway. Okay, back to cartoons. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Uh, my generation, we watched Bugs Bunny, Yosemite Sam, and Daffy Duck, which you can't watch now. They're just a little too hardcore, but yet we grew up okay. We didn't grow up in do any shootings inside a movie theater or pull a riot every time a you know police officer has to arrest somebody um, you know for breaking the law so I guess we were okay so maybe we should bring Bugs Bunny back but that's a whole new subject we can go on about parenting forever speaking of parenting hold on let me go back to the subject my son yes I am random get used to it I'm random all over the place um, I do have general idea of what I'm doing, but I'm just topics are everywhere. So on that note, my son watched Thomas the Train and Barney. During that time, we we're trying to make our oldest daughter, so we would put Barney tapes in. You know, give us well five minutes we took our clothes off, but we were young, so we put Barney tapes in and Barney and then men, Barney men sex. You know, it's like Pavel's dog ring the bell. He's salivates shit you see if I go into Six Flags and I see a big stuffed animal hugging a kid I get a boner and that's inappropriate but you know it's not because of the kid and that I see a stuffed animal it's go time my love you chubby right so don't play a Barney tape around me unless you got a negligee on you know what I'm saying <laughs> right my oldest daughter uh, she watched land for a time now we're back to a parenting issue Dinosaurs in Land Before Time had seven movies. Seven. What the hell were the parents? They're out drinking at the quarry. They got Fred riding their back. You know, Barney Rubble's tickling their bellies. I don't know, Barney Rubble. Hell of an actor. Hell of an actor. Um, so these parents... What, what kind of parenting skills these dinosaurs got in Land Before Time? But then they're always worried sick looking for them. Isn't that the way it is? The partier, the drug addict... Oh my God, when you take away their kid, oh fuck, that's my only joy, that's my only love. Where were you when you were partying, right? Those kids were gone. Seven times. That's all I got to say about Land Before Time. Or Land, was it Land Before, yeah, Land Before Time. They lost it. Now, I have to go to Pixar movies. Pixar makes a living off. I want to see how many times they can make you cry. I watched Up. Usually they make you cry at the end of the movie. Up, they get you in the first ten minutes. Ten minutes, the old lady dies. Oh, spoiler alert. Uh, anyway, ten minutes, the old lady dies. And then what? You know, the rest of the movie's funny. There are very funny movies, great movies. Uh, Big Hero 6, they get you 15 minutes in. Spoiler alert, brother dies. 
Have you seen In and Out? Great movie. Awesome. Loved it. Big guy like me, I cried only four times. That was it. Four. Different. Four. Ugh. Well, Pixar, congratulations. You make a big guy cry. My favorite cartoon right now, SpongeBob SquarePants. The early ones are great. Um, they've kind of toned it down a little bit, but they made cartoons where parents could watch them, enjoy them, and laugh, and carry on. Where the kids are laughing and carry on. It's all great. They're doing things for both parties. What way of thinking, parents and kids? Uh, I do love my Simpsons and Family Guy, but that's a little too much for the kids to be watching. But they see cartoons and they're like, hey, funny. Oh, not funny. You know, my youngest daughter goes back to her mom and repeats what happened on Family Guy. I get in trouble. So, anyway, it's so much fun when baby's mama calls you up to complain about something that you did and you can, you're not really listening because you're not with her, so who gives a shit, right? Alright, back to my case in point, I do wonder a lot. Um, so anyway, Pixar, Spongebob's the best. Um, that's going to be about all I got on cartoons for the moment. Now, you can go sidetrack if you got any clowns questions. The only thing I can tell you about clowns is they taste funny. So if you're going into the African jungle dressed like a clown, cannibals will not eat you. Taste funny. Clowns are scary. It's a whole other topic. What about the clown in It? Ooh. Clowns scare me. My great, or my grandpa was a clown. Above my bed, my mom thinks, oh, this is great. I'm going to put pictures of a clown above my bed. In my bedroom. At night, those things danced. You know, sleep with a cover over your head because Grandpa, the clown, is looking at you and they're dancing. This could be part of me being crazy or sane or a genius, whatever you borderline you want to do. But, clowns are scary to kids. Do not put clown pictures in their rooms. Hello, people. They don't want to see clowns in their room. Anybody seen Poltergeist? That clown went nuts. Somebody put a cage in that clown. Parents, get the clowns out of the room. I want to see a clown picture. I mean, what other... You don't see 90 teddy bears come out of a Volkswagen. But you do see all this happening all at once. Sorry, my phone's ringing. Hello? Not answering. So, clowns. Great at the circus. Bad in Stephen King movies. Oh, my God. And then also, don't put pictures up at night. Everything moves at night. We see shadows. When we're kids, we see shadows. Everything's scary. Nightlights make shadows, but yet they give you light. Hmm. It's a twist. It's a six one way, half a dozen another. All right. I want to thank you all for joining in. If you got any other topics that you would like for me to discuss, cartoons, I didn't do a whole lot with it, but hey, I'm still learning. I'm getting used to this. Please check out my other videos. If you got any ideas, tweet us. Rick. R I C K N T O M views, or I'm sorry, T O M S views, V I E W, on Twitter. Check us out. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you.